Hi to all, today a short tutorial on um, how to create, insert um, a top ring uh, parametric object. So, to do that let's, let's make a conical shape just to, to, to have um, a reference geometry. So I'm going to my layer, CAD, that's my CAD layer. <coughs> uh, let's draw the base of draw rectangle by corners. I will start uh, at the origin and then let's make it uh, 10 by 10 meters. Is the size of the rectangle. Here it is. Uh, we don't see it is exactly here. It is. Here is a rectangle. Um, okay, then let's draw a line here and then a vertical line from the middle point and that makes it 6 meters ok uh, make a new layer cone activate the new layer into the fem tools and create create a conical mesh so point 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 close and the top the conical tip let's make it 30 centimeters up here okay um, and hide the nodes we will fix these nodes fix it and this is our cone we don't have a top ring we don't need a top ring for this one so I will save this model and run the form finder. So this is our conical shape. Um, if we don't like the height of this one, we you remember that we have the tool um, in Fem Tools. We have the tool Move Conical Tip, so I can move it from here. If I activate the near and uh, hide the mesh, we can move it down here. Okay, and run the form finding again. Ah, seems a little bit better. Uh, let's uh, select the weft course and increase a little bit the, the priestess. Run the form finder, and that's it. So, we have uh, made um, a conical shape for our example. Okay, let's save this one. Now we, will, we would like to create the top ring for this cone. To to see the uh, to see the the parametric details right click in a free area and uh, activate the tools in the tools we have different panels here materials environment render settings but there is one special one call it smart objects in the smart objects you find a lot of uh, end details uh, corner plates and um, uh, in the final version there will be uh, three top rings so we have this ring right here ring A and um, yeah we can just we need a center point of our top ring so I will go into the CAD tools and uh, draw a circle by three points and one point here another one here and one here so I have the center of this single center of this uh, of this ring so I just drag and drop my conical ring, select the origin, uh, take off the snap, the origin is the center, the top point, I will activate again uh, the near, and this is my top point, the ring, the ring uh, radius, and then the tangent point down here. So, we have inserted the ring, if we go now 
uh, in the CAD tools we have level of detail options if we put it in high detail uh, we can see now the ring this is a parametric c-dimensional object so if I select this and uh, I create a profile I select this profile and put it to 114 cross-section and uh, take off any offset for this one so it's centered on the line so I can select the ring in the ring we have uh, a lot of parameters that we can change let's see a few of them uh, the ring is 114 you see it does it adapts itself to the size of the the pole um, for example we want uh, the clamping bolts say true it will make clamping bolts and this is a production ready so if we select it we can ask to two dimensions to make uh, a workshop drawings for this ring and if we go into low detail we will have here you see let's hide the mesh we have here the dimensions of the plates that we need to cut and just uh, control C copy past them in Rhino and we have our clamping plates here ready to, to be produced all the plates that we need to produce are here let's go back to CAD tools high detail we can also copy past the three dimensional detail there it is in Rhino we have the three dimensional three dimensional ring ready to be produced and this is the small tutorial on how to use the parametric details let's give a look at the priestess state That's it.